Put the mic. They're going to be available here. I'd like to, uh, and I'm just going to prepare you that they're going to come around. And if you have a prayer or praise, uh, maybe even a little story, something that's uh, pertinent to there that you'd like to share and say to Dave and Betsy and Justin and Abby and all of them, please, uh, please do. Um, but I'm going to start off with something a little bit, and I'm going to ask Dale if he would come uh, after I get done, and uh, and then I can give you a chance to get some things going here. So, as I was cleaning out my car, and this will tell you a little bit about me, uh, I found this in my door. It says Dave Stanley, Mission Springs Men's Conference 2016. So yes, I hadn't cleaned that door out for a while, but there it was, and I'm going, oh man, this is. Uh, is Dave just going to be lingering around like that? I'm going to find remnants of him everywhere. I think we all are. As we talked about it on Thursday night, in our hearts and in our experiences, we're going to be experiencing with the Stanley family. But you know what? I've got something especially for this, so hold on. that with us on uh, third, well, Wednesday and Thursday night, but I just could I just couldn't imagine that I'm just going to leave that name tag on there so that if some new people come, you, they'll, they'll know who he is and everything, so. Anyway, I'm just going to let that stand by itself. We'll, we'll take it down. I won't be here, Jeff, when you're, when you're saying anything. We've got to put that down. So Dale coming up. Dale has a, he's a helper for communion. There you go. He won't spill anything, I'll tell you that much. You know all these people, Dave? Hold on. Okay, well, I put together a little poem for you. It's called Moving On. Ecclesiastes 3 says, There's a time for everything. And it must mean a time to move or stay. So it must be a time for you to move. If it's God's will, there's always a way. Dave, you've done a wonderful job teaching and traveling with our youth. It moves me to hear their testimonies. Because of you, they've learned the truth. I heard you preach a few times when Pastor Jeff was away. Your message was always well received about all the things you had to say. Your family has grown from two to four since you first came to Good Sam, you, Betsy, Justin, and Abby complete the Stanley clan. I pray traveling mercies over your family as you move to your new home. May memories of Valley Springs be sweet, no matter where you choose to roam. So anybody, um, well, not the crying section, right on the <laughs> I think it might be on. I want to thank the Stanleys and, and the whole family because I love them so much. We love them so much. And Dave, for all the times I've walked in and just sat down and talked to him about something, or when I call him and say, hey, my grandkids are coming, and something's wrong with uh, the video, and could you come and fix our TV so they can watch it, please? And he has come and untangled the mess in the kids' bedroom. But I also want to thank Betsy, because Betsy, you have been such a support um, in your quiet way, and all the different functions that we've had here, and in you know, um, whether it's uh, perusing our communication system or, or anything else that, you know, where you could be helpful in, in supporting um, us and Dave and being a wonderful mother, being such a role model and such a role model of faith and 
we're just so happy to now celebrate with you like we did when you adopted Betsy, and we certainly are going to miss you, but we just pray that you have a wonderful life in Minnesota and um, Wisconsin. We love you. I would like to thank Betsy for taking me to school every day when my mom couldn't and taking me to the nature pool. <coughs> first met Dave, I got to do this now because in a few minutes I'll hopefully lose it. When I first met Dave, he came to this church. I told him that he reminded me of my cousin who I had lost. And he looked so much like him, so immediately I felt as though it was part, we were part family. I felt this connection. Over the years, you've done such an amazing job with the children, with both the RPM and the JHO, and Bill has, I know, felt honored to be able to work with you. We've watched your family grow, which has been delightful. I'm going to miss you a lot. Because as I told you before, when I see you, I remember my cousin. And he was very special. And you are that way too. You are very special to us. Um, it's been an honor to be able to cook on different occasions for the group and to be able to share in that way with them. I bless both of you um, with a happy life. Even though it's in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> and I pray that when you come back to visit, you do that you will come and stay with us. We have room, we would be honored to have you. And I just, I just wish and pray for a wonderful, wonderful life. You have two adorable children, and I've gotten to know the baby more than I did when she was little. She's just precious. And Justin has grown into such a sweet, mature young man who is delightful. I love you all, and I just pray for a great, great life, and that you can continue doing what you've been doing, if that's your wish, and um, because you work so well with children, and we need a great leader for our children, that shows a wonderful example. God bless you. This is home, yeah. Okay. Um, so, when we first moved up to Valley Springs, um, Crystal and I were married yet. We, I, I was renting a room from her parents, and her parents bought a house up here, and we moved up here, and we found good Sam, and we both jumped, both uh, head first, feet first, into working with the youth, and uh, got involved with JHO and RPM and everything, and started leading worship with the youth groups and everything before we really up here on Sunday mornings, and um, I just want to thank Dave for all the encouragement that you've given us through uh, through everything, and it, working with him and the youth is, it really matured me into growing and building my skills to finally be the worship leader here for, for on Sunday mornings, and um, not to mention Dave actually married Crystal and I, so that's always going to be a great, great memory, and um, even though I had to set down out of working with the youth and everything at different uh, points in my life, dealing with career stuff, but uh, I just, I wanted to thank you. Uh, it was very pivotal in, in my life to, to have you there, and always encouraging me, and, uh, and, and everything you've done with the youth. And all, all, uh, all the smiles and memories you've made. So we thank you. We love you. My name is Bill Olson. Uh, most of you know me. I don't miss my words. Uh, you look at the news. You see what's happening with our youth 
throughout the country, throughout the world. This guy right here plants a message, plants a love of Christ into these kids that you're not going to see these kids in the news. Dave introduced them to the gang. It's called God's Family. And it's because of Dave and Betsy and people like them that keep our kids on the straight and narrow. <coughs> Dave, you're going to be missed. Betsy, you're going to be missed. For my birthday, you gave me some cookies. <laughs> and my wife wants the recipe. <laughs> But, but again, it's because of people like Dave and Betsy with their dedication to our youth. And, and like Sandy said, I, I have been blessed for the years that I've been able to share the kids up there with Dave under his leadership. Uh, God bless you, Dave. Yeah, I got my own. <laughs> Hey, hey, just just quick, you know, everyone, everyone deserves a quirky verse, you know, from the Bible. So Dave got pulled into this. This is one of my quirky verses. It says, the men of Eshekar, who understood the times, knew exactly what Israel should do. You know, and, and Dave's just been a, a, a guy of understanding for me. You know, uh, you don't always get a lot of people that understand what's going on in here, unless you're in here doing it. And, and, and Dave, Dave has been a part of all that. He, he understood that our churches need a, 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 a definite turning point in our lives. And also, he understood our potential, which I thought was great. You know, uh, he knew that our kids needed a challenge and not entertainment. And so something like the Urban Plunge has really grown our kids just in a number of ways. And those testimonies are, are, will just live with me forever. You know, when we were building the building, we, we saw a storage unit up above the sanctuary. Dave saw a home, a place, an identity that's, you know, become, this is a spot. This is a, this is a Calaveras destination, right? You know, and, and, and Dave saw that. And, and Dave understood flow of ministry. So while it was a lot of work and, and I'm sure pressure on his family to jump out of everything else he did, and, and start a, a kids' church, uh, it, it's rather amazing. And then if you, if you look at the program and you hear some of the testimonies that you'll hear this morning, Dave understood leadership development really well. And so those leaders are here and, and will carry on. Um, and he understood support. I think for myself, I'm, I'm, I'm asked all the time, and it's, it's come to me in the last three or four months. So, so Pastor, how, you know, why have you stayed at that church for so long, 20 years? Uh, they're probably desperate. Uh, no, that's not the real answer. Um, I, I said, it takes, it takes someone to, to join you on staff and, and stay for, for 12 of those years to make the 20. I can't replace a guy like me in my life. You know, it's kind of funny, Jeff just mentioned Dave being a leadership builder. It was probably 11 years ago to the day. I'm going to kick it and catch you right now. <laughs> About 11 years ago to this day, probably, Dave came to me and I was fresh on my walk as being a Christian. And he's like, hey, I'm Pastor Dave. Why don't you come hang out with junior high kids, high school? And I was far off my grid. But he pushed me. He, I guess, built me up as to be a leader, which is kind of scary. But uh, <laughs> along, along that path that me and Dave have had, we, we're not just has been, not just my spiritual leader, but we've coached soccer together. We've had many barbecues together. Went on men's retreats together. Um, he's just not a spiritual leader, but he's a friend. He's a brother in Christ, and Betsy's a sister in Christ, and Justin. You know, we, we share a lot of good times in the soccer field. And uh, I'm not going to say goodbye to you guys. I'm just going to say see you guys really soon, hopefully. Thanks, Dave.
stand up, because contrary to what you think, I'm okay singing. I don't like talking in front of people with a microphone. Um, when me and Aaron first came to this church, it was only, I think, it, it was right after you guys started coming here. And um, Aaron wanted to jump right in and get involved. And the church that we grew up in was very large. And me and Aaron had been dating since we were like 12. And so growing up in a big church, um, we had a lot of, there was always a lot of rumors about us and things like that. And it always made me very uncomfortable. And so I always like excluded myself from everything. And Aaron kind of talked me into, okay, we're going to go, we're going to, you know, go try to work with the youth. And I was like, hmm, I don't think that's a very good idea. Because we had just moved up here, we weren't married yet, and we had just come from a whole lot of things being said that I was not okay with. And we ended up finding out that shortly, very shortly, pretty much right when we started working with the youth, some of the same things started happening but with the youth. They started very quickly, as people do, started talking. And before we ever found out, Dave had already talked to them. I don't know if you remember this, Dave, but Dave had already like nipped it in the bud before we ever found out, which had never happened through my whole life at our old church. People just, the, I mean, the adults, the staff, let stuff fly. And so I was immediately, I felt so comfortable to know that Dave had our back. And if it hadn't been for Dave stepping in and defending us and and defending his leaders, uh, we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been in leadership in this church. Never. And I think that both Dave and Betsy have been really influential in raising up leaders in this church. We look at a lot of the people now who are involved, and I mean, like Mike said, a lot of people, not just youth, but adults in this church are leaders because of the influence of Dave and his family. So thank you very much for that. I don't know if you guys realize that it's not just, your impact has not just been with the youth in this church. You've had a really large impact on everybody here. So thank you. My name is Daryl Williams, and I've been in church leadership with Dave for many years, you know, but, and you don't see the same thing in executive board that you see when he's out in front of people, his, his mind and being able to help with everything that's going on there. But more than that, Betsy has been in the background. She served on a committee where it was two old men and two young chicks. <laughs> doing the boring stuff of getting the organization and communications to reflect well for the church. And so we will miss her and uh, making sure that the things, you know, that go out to the community and stuff reflect well with us. So thank both of you. I want to say thank you, Dave, for giving our youth the courage to stand up, to live Christian principles, Christian lives. I especially thank you for giving the courage to my grandson to be a good Christian man and display those qualities when the world doesn't make it a popular thing to be. 
Thank you. Dave, I got to know you when I first became church secretary. And for many of you who don't know him personally, how do I say this? <laughs> We share a love of coffee. <laughs> he can't make fudge. Uh, let me see what else. Oh, he has to do everything himself. <laughs> but he did, towards the end, come to me to get my personal review of how well he did. And so I tell you right now, Dave, that you're 100% perfect just as you are. And please keep in touch, like I said before, I have no one else to harass except you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, so I'd like to, uh, oh, do you have one? <laughs> we came to this church um, specifically because of our camp. Um, my two older kids, Jessica right here, and my son in the army, um, were invited by friends to come to our camp. And we're not ones to let our kids just go anywhere, and we wanted to see what that was all about. So we visited this church, and we also. Um, served in RPM for a couple years, and um, we've, we've been in youth ministry before, but this was different, and um, Dave makes it different. Um, Dave sacrifices a lot for our youth ministry. I can think of at least three trips where he was headed out of town, and there was family emergencies, um, two with his dog Cody, and I remember being on, on one of those trips when um, he got news about Abby, and here, poor Betsy receiving that news and Dave's away from her with the youth um, receiving that um, that that news and that's a sacrifice when you're away from your family for those for those big times um, I want to say I love how much Dave has empowered our youth um, to serve to grow um, my daughter Jessica wouldn't be the woman she is today if it wasn't for um, Dave just empowering her <coughs> to become the leader I appreciate that not every youth group um, values the abilities of their youth like like Dave has has done in, in RPM. I'm very sad because I have a 10 year old who will be going into J. Joe and, and RPM and he won't have the influence of Dave and so I'm praying diligently for Dave's replacement knowing it won't be the same but I will try to accept it. <laughs> Good morning, my name is John. Uh, it's nice that we're having a special time today. However, in the hoorah of all the accolades, I don't want people to forget that we have the second fiddle, the power behind the throne, and the proverbial wife who makes everything possible that the other person is doing. She's given up. Uh, years for her marriage, hours of her time, even marital time away from Dave in order to help him uh, in his duties. And I think we should give a special shout out to Betsy because without her, Dave would have a heck of a time doing anything. <laughs> thank, thank you to both of them because Dave knows what I know. You always say yes, dear. I just want to say from the beginning, uh, when I first came to this church, I started RPM. Um, and I had no idea what to expect. I knew of a God. I had no idea anything of God. And I just want to say, for the next seven years, I stand here today because of what the Stanley family did for me. All the way from helping me get ready for prom, 
and all the way to marrying me to my wife. And I just want to say thank you, and I hope you continue, continue your endeavors and grow with God. So with all that being said, can we say God is good? So, I'm going to invite, now is the time we're going to come up here. They've got all kinds of sugar all over them and everything. It's all dripping down on them. Come on, come on up here. <laughs> to get away from being this thing standing behind me. Just put a black, a black helmet on it or something. And don't do that. Um, so I'll do a couple of things here. Um, because of what you just said, John, I'm going to give this to Betsy. This is some uh, money that we're going to be giving them a check that just says... Thank you for and help them with their travels across the, the, the states and everything. I know it's going to be a little bit of a challenge with that. And at, that, at this time, what I'd like to do is ask for those of you that would be willing to uh, come up here and put your hands on. We want to pray for them right now, okay? So as you're coming up here, I just want to ask for prayers that for their travel, for their new church, their new life. Continue. Why don't you, why don't you move a little bit forward? And... Uh, as it was mentioned, life is going to continue on, and so I would ask somebody to pray for uh, our our search that's going on and everything, and we're moving forward because we will still have continue to have God here. So, so somebody start, and I'll finish when we're when we're done.
Lord, I thank you for all these uh, prayers that have uh, come towards the Stanleys, and I know that the reason why we're here is because you are strong and moving through this uh, family and this church and this community. We thank you for uh, Dave and Betsy and uh, their family, and so many prayers have been said for their travel and where they're going. We know that you will continue to be with them. Also, um, be with us that we know that... Uh, your work is uh, continuing, your work is going to go on, and uh, we ask a special measure of uh, your love to be with them as, as they do travel. And so, uh, thank you. Thank you for bringing workers and warriors for your name to us. Thank you for Dave and Betsy. And uh, we can continue with our love with them, whether they're here with us or not. And so we uh, praise you for having... Uh, spend time with them and knowing that we're going to have some more special time with them in the future. So I pray all these things through your son Jesus Christ. Amen. So as you head back to your seats, let's stand and uh, sing to God be the glory. God be the glory, great 